Hello, and welcome back to Green River. So, uh, as I have started many episodes, I'm gonna say it's been a while. I've been stupid busy, so I have actually not played for two weeks, really. I've done very little. But anyways, we're back now. We're gonna get some more jobs done. So, we're in the class, rolling up our grass field. I cannot remember if I showed mowing this or not in the previous episode. Could go back and look, but I figured out. Ah, we'll just crack on and get some stuff done. But yes, we have gotten this mode. We have I've removed the tree stumps in this field, so we're ready to plow it bigger for next time. Um, we've actually had some neighbors move in, so maybe we'll see them around doing some other field work. But yes, we're gonna get this mode. We are gonna be doing silage bales. Um, you may be thinking, why don't you have a lot of silage in the pit? But this is mainly just going to be to sell, get some more cash. We have lots of silage, we have lots of hay, and I figured it'd be better off selling silage than selling hay, because, well, silage is worth more, obviously. So, yeah. That's the plan over here. Yield was fairly decent. I think it was a bit better than the last cut, so I'm, I don't remember the number of bales we got. So, we should, well, we should get a couple more anyways, but... Yeah. Um, as for contracts, I think I took a little short video, which I'll put up now, if I remember. It, this should have had three contracts completed, all fertilizing, which gave us enough money to buy this guy for some reason, <gasps> and buy the wrapper that is on the telehandler that we'll see shortly. Telehandler's here to start moving bales into the wrapper. We got the extractor. So we're wrapping them in a big long sausage. Um, I was gonna go for a trailed one, but these were twenty thousand. This was twenty thousand dollars less, so figured may as well go with a more cost-efficient one. Yeah. Once we're done here, we and cleaned up we and cleaned up the silage bales. We'll probably put them not where we're gonna be plowing, obviously, because we want to plow. We'll put them in the middle here somewhere. So they can be cleaned up at a later date. Oops, camera. Yeah, once we're done here, we possibly will rent a plow, get this plowed up and plant it so it can, excuse me, catch up and be ready to harvest at the same time as the rest of the grass here. Why am I yawning? I'm not tired. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna continue on with this. We're gonna get a little bit more done here. And I'll see you once we are just wrapping up or wrapping up the windrowing or grabbing the baler down here. So yeah. Do you in a bit? I was gonna leave this last swath, but then I looked at it, it looked some of it looked quite wide, so I figured ah we'll just put it together with this other one and be done with it. Okay, so once we're done here we can take this window back to our yard and park it up because it is ours now. We don't have to worry about returning it to the store. We can use it whenever we need. Um hoping we can possibly do some other mowing contracts. There's only one or two other grass fields around, and I'm not sure if that other farm owns that one so we'll have to see if any mowing contracts pop oh there's another one by the biogas plant right forgot about that one but yeah i have not seen that one pop up but anyways let's just get this down to cleaned up and down to our farm and we'll grab the baler bring it up here and get this all bailed 
We should get a few, fair number of bales. I'm assuming probably right around 30. For some reason, that's the number that sticks out in my head, like kind of what we got last time. But we also did hay last time, which is a higher leachage bale. Whoa, okay. Okay. Driving cab here. I find driving on the roads better in cab. I don't like when I'm doing field work and stuff, I like being out of cab, seeing everything that's going on. But driving on the roads, I find in cab much easier. And I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> but yeah. We can get this uh, roar dropped off, pick up the baler, get back out here. Um, we may put additive in, because we do have a baler that we can have additive, additive for silage. So we just may do that. See if we have any. If not, we may buy a pallet. We have some money to kick it around, so yeah. See you in a bit with the baler. Okay, just on our way back now. We got the baler all attached and loaded up with additive so it should be um, help with a well I mean technically it just increases the quality but in the game it creates the qu increases the quantity so yeah we should have a bit more grass come out of it off the field than we would if we didn't have it so that should be good this shouldn't take too long it's only a couple swaths so we should be done by three o'clock it's 220 yeah it should be about 40 minutes if you look there off to the left, you can see, oh yeah, you can see the new farmer is working on this field spraying. Nice. Well, looks like they missed a spot, but oh well. Maybe they'll fix it later. Maybe we can buy some products from there. Merce, whoa, sell to them. Some of our stuff too. I think they have a little bit of a store thing going on too, so we'll see. They offer any good prices for any of our products and if they want to buy some of ours so yeah or if they have something we need maybe we can borrow some of their equipment or we can do some work for them for them we shall see i've reset the bill counter on this so we should well we should resetting the bill counter helps but we also need to lower the pickup you don't pick up much grass with it up, with it up in the air so yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight swaths. So yeah, it should not take too long at all. It's gonna be a longer job wrapping them all, so that may be a bit of a time lapse thing or off camera thing. We'll see how it goes. Um, speaking of spraying, we need to get, um, I was just thinking about the, how the farmer doing his work there. We need to get some nitrogen onto this field as soon as possible. So, yeah, we're going to want to plow it and plant, so we're going to get nitrogen on after that. It's going to be a busy little bit of time here. And then it's going to be a lull again, waiting for crops to grow. I guess those are those um, highs and lows, and not highs and lows, I guess, but just uh, rushes of busyness for the different seasons. I don't know how well, or whoops, turning too much. I don't know how the squeak in my steering wheel comes through the recording. When I've been editing with it, or not with the steering wheel, but editing a video with the steering wheel in it, I can't hear it too much, but I don't know. I'm not also listening for it, I'm just <laughs> going through the video. You let me know if you, excuse me, hear it too much if I should see if I can I don't mind the squeak while I'm gaming here really, but if I should see if I can lube it up a bit to slow or stop the squeak. I can't see nothing here. That's one bad thing about using the steering wheel. It doesn't have a camera adjustment on it. You always have to grab the controller to do that. So yeah. Well, shall we kick this off here and get a good chunk of this done? Yeah, like I said, I think we're going to shoot for about 30 bales. I don't know. I'll just turn the help menu on and see how it's racking up here. But we have five ready. Seven. Okay, yeah, we're going to get more than 30. <laughs> Probably on 40. Ooh, maybe more than 40. 50? Dang. That's way more than I expected. We also have... Oh, we should... 
now that I think of it, we should go to our productions. Here, yeah, we have 313,000 liters of wood chips to sell. So we're gonna change that to selling because I couldn't figure out how to get the trailer to load up there. Otherwise, I would have done it. No, I've done it, done it myself. So yeah, at uh, three o'clock we should see some muddy roll in. I don't know what the price of wood chips is at right now. Let's see, 313,000 for wood chips and they're selling for 800? Wow. Let's see here, 313,000 times that by 806. Let's see even 800. Quarter a million. Whoa. Yeah, that's from all the extra trees that we did not cut down in the previous time. I did a little bit off camera to clean up the yard a bit more. So we actually need to get back there and plant some more trees again to repopulate our forest because at a quarter million dollars for wood chips, I think we can um, afford to plant some more trees. So we'll probably do that next episode. We won't have time in this episode, that's for sure. This baler actually has a huge additive tank. I've got 50 liters, well, I have that um, silage additive drum. It's a 50 liter drum. All of it went in here. It's crazy, I thought it was gonna be like a, a little splash it would take, but no, it took it all. I was very surprised about that. Oh, well, maybe that's why it's booster yields so much because we have the additive in here. I, I really never done a test to see how much it actually boosts it or not, but. Apparently it does a bit. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that new farm's equipment driving around a little bit. And they have got some shiny new big equipment. So hopefully we can see some more of it in the near future here. It looked like they had a big case sprayer there. So I think the oh, most of the other stuff was green, but I guess they couldn't find a good deal in a green sprayer. So they went with a uh, case so yeah we should be doing all right pretty soon once all this money comes in hopefully we can get some more fields so we can keep ourselves a bit more busy so we can make even more money so we can keep expanding even more and grow 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 hindsight i should have kept that plow that we had leased at the farm because we needed to get in here a bit so now we're gonna have to spend a bit more money Get eight of our plowed out here. Unless, uh, oh, the one with the, that farm, maybe we should stop by that farm and see if they have one for us to borrow. Because we just need to do like two passes with a plow. Well, depending how big it is, obviously. But yeah, maybe if they have a plow, we could borrow theirs just for a couple passes so we don't even have to worry about renting one. Yeah, maybe that's going to be a thing we're going to do yet. So yeah, I will see you in a bit here once the baling's all done. And we'll see what, how many bales you have to, at the end. Should be a decent amount. I'm, I've changed my guess, it's probably gonna be about 50. So yeah, see you in a bit. Again, I say that a lot, don't I? little bit. I mean there's an odd piece here or there but I don't think we're gonna worry about that. I'll clean up a little bit here at this end. But wow there's bales. It's definitely more than I was thinking. Definitely way more than I was thinking. So if we turn this guy off. Whoops not the whole tractor just the baler. Unload that guy. And I'll turn the help window on again, and we'll see... Oh, 47. Ah, that's pretty close to my guess. So, now let's... Oh, I don't want... We can just tell our... Get our worker to take this back down to the farm. 
because we don't need it here anymore. We just need the telehandler and the wrapper. Worker, act workers go to here. That should be just fine. Good. Pop out of there. Pop out. Okay, so let's get into the telehandler and start with the wrapping. Okay, so let's start it right at this end here. Because it's going to push itself along anyways. Do it like that. Okay, pop out. Start her up, unfold it. Okay. So I know we're having a lot of time lapses, but this is kind of just the... I think it's the best way to do these kind of jobs are just so mundane but they need to get done I could jump cut to the end which I, actually I may do that in this because it's a very boring job and you just had a couple time lapses we want to get to the plowing yet and if I have too many time lapses it still drags up the video a little bit so yeah maybe we will just cut to the end of this shortly here or at least close to the end and we'll have it all wrapped up and fermenting, turning into profi profitable silage. So, yeah. Yeah, see, I was right. We had the bailing done by three o'clock. Hopefully we can have this wrapped by four. Yeah, this we need to have your telehandler, don't we? Wow, that's really pulling it over. Yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna crack on here keep feeding this machine with bales until we have no more to feed it yeah should be a nice long sausage along the edge of the field here bright blue sausage once we're done oh yeah just to let, uh, show you guys it's uh, just gone three o'clock and we did get paid for that silage or not silage wood chips and we have 246,000 in the bank account now. So yeah, we're not struggling for cash anymore. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay, I'll get this done now.
here goes the last veil into the wrapper. So, as you can tell, we have moved the wrapper because it was getting to be a very long drive to the other end of the field. So let's get this thing unloaded, push the stack out, and wrap up the end. Okay, so let's bring this back to the yard as well, and we'll go and see if we can't get ourselves a... Oops, we should turn that motor off. Get ourselves a plow from our neighbors, see if they have one. Just because we need it for such a little bit. Yeah, I'll bring this back and I'll see you over there, either getting a plow or seeing if we, if, or at the store, I guess, because, yeah. This took way longer than expected, actually. I thought I'd be done by 4, it's almost 4.30 now. I've turned the time down, a little, the speed of time down a bit, just so we wouldn't <clears throat> lose the light quite as soon. The sun is going down already, so. Yeah, all wrapped up. Good to go. See you in a bit again. I'm cutting it a lot because these just boring things. I some things I wouldn't really want to see if I was watching the video. So, yeah. Well, let's go. Okay, back here in the yard. Gonna find a spot for everything. We may as well put the wrapper behind the baler, I think, because we're never gonna use the wrapper unless we're using the baler. So I think it's gonna be a good spot for it. I have talked to them. They say, yep. Yeah, go for it. They have a plow. They're just picking it up now. Actually, it's brand new. So it should be down at their farm uh, very soon now. We can actually... I offered to pay them, but they said, nope, no, nope, don't worry about it. Because they just heard we made silage bales, and they're actually running short. So they were going to be letting us use their plow and tractor as long as we s s give them first dibs on the bales we just made. So at least we have a seller for them right away. Yeah, they're out of silage apparently, so they want them as soon as they are done. They have they have food for them, their cows right uh, as of now, but they need them as soon as they're done. So I said, yeah, I would for sure sell them to them. Perfect there, let that go. Okay, so let's go and let's go down to their farm and we'll see if we can't see what kind of plow we have, they didn't tell me anything about it, they just said we can use the tractor it's on and the plow, so let's go take a look hopefully it's not like a 2-4-0 plow or something hopefully it's half decent with some of the equipment I've seen I, uh, that I've seen around, I don't think they're going to have a 1-4-0 plow but yeah, guess we'll see shortly Got lots of red barns there, so yeah. Okay, here we are. Let's see, ooh, what is that? Is that what we get to use? Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go talk to someone, make sure that this is what we're using, because I don't want to just drive off in their tractor. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'll go talk to him and we'll see. Yep, that's what we're supposed to be using. So, let's hop in and see if we can't figure how this beast works. Oh, there's the engine. Oh, this thing takes off. Whew. It's got some power. Let's try not to damage their tractor too much. Want to be in the good books for them. So yeah, let's see how well this works. I think they said it's a nine nine meter plow in the back. So yeah, that should take no time at all ripping up that small little section we have to do there. So yeah, let's get on down there and see if this this tiny little tractor has the power to do it. Should be good yet. This it even smells new in here. Wow. I mean, to be fair, our tractor is quite new too. So the ARX. Okay, here we are. Let's 
Okay, that's how we unfold it. Good, good, good. Um, I have to be lower this. All these new buttons in here. Uh, um, well, there we go. Got it. Okay. Oh yeah, this has no problem pulling this plow. I thought it might be a bit small for it, but I guess I was wrong. Wow. Good show. Good show. Yeah, and then he said, just as long as we give them the, or sell them the bales, they're perfectly happy paying for them. They just need access to having some more silage bales. I was told we have loose, but they didn't really care for the loose they wanted in bale form because they have their tail handler they like loading with, so they didn't have a decent way to load loose, so they preferred bales. I said, that's fine, I'll have the bales. They should be ready shortly. Next. Well, next episode, the late next episode, they should be ready. I didn't tell the next episode, obviously, but... So, yeah. We'll get this plowed up now, and we'll get this planted with fresh grass seeds as soon as possible. Hopefully today yet. I don't, don't think it's going to happen today. But, yeah. Look at us. We need a deer. Oh, I missed the spot there. I'll go back and get it. Beauty. Works like a charm. Oh, plant that doesn't uh, plow up. Oh well. It'll blend in yet once the grass is all planted and growing. So, I think I'm going to leave it here this episode. Been pretty good. We got a lot of salad bailing done. I don't... I have a hard time judging. How long this episode is actually going to be. I'm hoping it's around the 20 minute mark. Not 20, 30 I mean. But yeah, we'll see. And next episode we'll get this, we'll have this probably planted by then. And next episode we'll be doing some other jobs in our fields. Getting, I'm not sure, I'll figure out something to do yet. I'm not quite sure what we're up to now. Probably, oh we need to get our other field plant. Ooh, that's the other thing we need to look at. When can we plant that? We need to plant that. We want to plant corn, I think. What do we want to plant in there? We didn't want corn again. Mm -hmm. I think we we're going to do soybeans. Uh, okay, soybeans we have another month to plant, so, so is corn. So yeah, okay. All of a sudden I was worried, like, do we have to plant that this month? But no, we have another month yet to plant, so. Okay, yeah, that's took no time at all with this big plow. There's no problem with power, just flew through it. Awesome to see. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button so I know what you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.